it's an auto, maker, auto parts maker that has found itself right in the middle of the trade war. Leslie Picker is in Holland, Michigan, with more on this company. Hey, Leslie. Hi, David. That's right. We're on Transmatics Factory floor where you can see coils of steel working their way into these machines, which are then pressing them into parts that go into autos, they go into door locks, industrial supplies. But this company has been impacted by the tariffs as the tariffs on steel have increased their input costs by about 25 percent, hitting their bottom line about 10 percent. And so it's become a huge issue for them. Most of their steel that they bring in, their supplies are from domestic producers, they're not even importing them. So far, they've been able to pass along most, about 90% of these costs on to their customers, but they're worried in the long term that these customers will defect to their competitors overseas. Well, the parts we produce here, um, there are, we have competitors both in Asia and in Europe that produce very similar components. So, you know, the price of doing business is the most competitive price on the marketplace. And the simple fact is these tariffs are like taxes to our business. We're not as competitive as we were six months ago. Now, their suppliers have filed for exemptions, but so far none of them have been approved yet. The executives here tell me that they are considering moves if the tariffs last for the long term, including ramping up production at their overseas facilities in China and Mexico, which would mean less investment here in Holland, Michigan, rolling back of hours for workers here, and potentially even job cuts. And to add insult to injury, executives here learned a few weeks ago that China was considering retaliatory tariffs on some of the products that they produce here that they then export to China. So yet, that would be another thing that would impact their bottom line, guys. David's got a part. Yeah, Leslie, we're holding <laughs> it up here. I think this is something involved in a door locking mechanism or something of that type. Mm -hmm. But this is what we're talking about here. I'm assuming you can hear me. I know it's very yep. loud where you are. <laughs> I can. It is. Yes, I can hear you, David. Um. What do we, you know, I know you've gone through it. Do they have expectations in terms of how much they'd actually have to raise price? So they have been passing these costs down to their customers, which have been about $1.5 million so far. Um, that's for 2018. They said 2019, though, if the tariffs continue, the costs could increase from there um, because their customers won't be able to absorb as much of it. So they would have to offset it in some way on behalf of their customers or risk losing them to their competitors who make the exact same products in Europe and Asia.